All right, good morning, YouTube. My name is Seth Sarn Reese. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over the construction of a poncho wrap. All right, this is one of your graded events during Lake Day. All right, you're gonna need a partner. Um, the first thing, let's talk about some of the equipment that we have. So, what we're gonna need is two ponchos. All right, so let's take a look at our poncho. Very first thing you wanna do is make sure that your hood is goosenecked on the inside of your poncho and secured with a safety knot. Normally, we use like a, a square knot or something like that. Then we're gonna check our ponchos for serviceability. So we're gonna look for our snap links to make sure that they're all there and they're serviceable. Then we're gonna make sure that we don't have any rips or tears in our ponchos. Now, it is okay if you do have one or two uh, rips, just make sure that that poncho is going to be the first poncho that you use and not the outer layer, so that way it doesn't take on as much water. Let's move on to our rucks. All right, you need two rucks. We wanna make sure that they are generally the same size. That's gonna make for a better uh, flotation device. We're gonna have two pieces of 550 cord. Make sure they're anywhere from seven and a half to nine feet in length. We're gonna have two M4s, two 15 foot sling ropes, and two 51 kilonewton steel locket carabiners. So let's go ahead and get into the construction. The very first thing I wanna do is I wanna grab my ruck and place it on the poncho on the center line, making sure that they're gonna be butt to butt framed down. Okay, then we're gonna take a seat and we're gonna go ahead and grab our poncho and we're gonna choose what side we want our snap links to be on. So I'm gonna say left hand side, my partner knows left hand side is gonna go on top and we're just gonna snap those snap links together. All right, this is important when we're checking for that serviceability because you don't wanna kill, waste time trying to snap these. Pieces. Trying to snap these because they're bent or warped or whatever. Get that one. All right. Sometimes they uh, they don't want to go, so it's all right. You just got to make sure that uh, either yourself or your partner gets them. Whoever's better at it. All right. Then you're gonna pull this tight and make it sure that that center garment is center line of the two rucks. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate this poncho, gooseneck it towards the top of that flap. So because the top flap is on the was on the left hand side, we're gonna uh, go ahead and twist to the right. Then from here, one of your partners, which would be me on this side, is you're gonna grab those goosenecks and you're gonna hold on to them. And then your partner's gonna go get his first 550 cord and he's gonna tie round turn with two half hitches around that gooseneck. All right, a good little trick to remember for your round turns is figure four through the back door and you're gonna do that twice, that's for your two half hitches. All right, what he's gonna do is he's gonna tie from top to bottom, right to left, just like all our knots. And he's gonna tie towards our ruck, towards our frame. Then he's gonna come through the center grommet, going from the bottom grommet first, up through the center, then through the top. Then what he's gonna do is he's gonna pull back. And what you like to do is go ahead and keep that tension there for him. He's gonna go underneath that 550 cord and pull towards that second uh, gooseneck. And he's gonna repeat the process. Round turn, two half hitches, figure four through the back door, pull to the left, figure four through the back door, pull to the right. Now, when you're done with this, any of that excess, you're just gonna go ahead and tuck that into the poncho, uh, into the poncho somewhere. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our poncho, lift up, we're gonna flip it, flip it over and make sure that that poncho again is on that center line. We're then gonna repeat the same process that we did the first time. Making sure that our left hand flap is on top. And we're gonna continue to add all those snap links in there. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and sit down. And this is this part is really important. Are right, you gonna make sure that that grommet is on the center line of those ponchos? Looks like we might need to pull that way just a little bit more. All right, that should work right there. And then you're gonna repeat the same process as the first time. Goosenecking. 
and then fold that gooseneck over on itself. That's gonna go ahead and secure that nice and watertight. All right, and I'm gonna hold that there for my partner while he go gets his second uh, 550 cord. He's gonna do the same thing here, doing uh, a round turn of two half hitches. The only thing that's gonna change is the fact that from this first gooseneck, all right, we're gonna get a measurement and we're gonna tie a double figure of eight. So the first measurement from that bottom gooseneck is gonna be six inches. <clears throat> so from six inches from the top of there, now he's gonna tie a double figure of eight. <clears throat> Once he ties that double figure of eight, then we're gonna repeat the same process as the first poncho, bringing that 550 cord through the center line of that bottom gar grommet, and then through the top one. And then we're gonna pull it back on itself and go underneath that 550 cord, just like we did. Now, you really wanna help out your partner here to maintain that tension. So when he pulls down, you're gonna just uh, maintain that tension there for him. He's gonna wrap it around and come back to the other side. Now we're gonna get another measurement of eight inches from the top center grommet, and we're gonna tie our second uh, double figure of eight. Now, of course, just like any of your uh, figure eight knots, you wanna make sure uh, to your best ability that you don't have any twists in this, uh, but this is one of the ropes, one of the knots on your uh, poncho wrap that it doesn't really matter if you do have a twist or not, but you wanna keep that uh, same thing going for all your knots. All right, now while my partner's tying that, I'm just gonna verify that, that we do have eight inches here and we do have at least six inches here, and we're good to go there. Um, so good job, partner. All right, again, just like the first time, we're gonna tuck any of that excess in there, and now we're gonna go ahead and get those two carabiners, our M4s, and we're gonna go from sky to ground, wrap it around with our carabiners, and then we're gonna alternate our weapons. So one butt stock is gonna go this way. Make sure you lock it in the um, butt stock and the front side post. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead and grab our ropes. And from here, we're going to tie two bow lines. The first bow line is going to be a body bow line, and the second bow line is going to be a bow line just at the end of the rope. So the way that I tie my body bow line is I drape it over my body. All right, and remember, it's got to go over your shoulder and underneath the, other, the opposite arm. All right, both these bow lines will have a safety, so you need to make sure that you tie it with enough length to have a minimum of four-inch pigtail. <clears throat> then I come down here, and I will do the same thing and tie a bow line at the end of the rope. Okay, this bow line needs to be big enough to pass a carabiner, but not so big that you can fit a fist through. After your overhand safety, you're gonna make sure that you have a minimum of four inches. All right, see how small that is? Four inches, we're good to go. You're gonna go ahead and secure that into your carabiner. <laughs> and then you're gonna lock your carabiner. Now, what's important about this is you wanna make sure that your bow line rope is long enough where when you're swimming, okay, your back foot doesn't touch your poncho raft. This allows for uh, good swimming, all right? Now, as far as construction, you have 10 minutes to complete this. This is all you have to do. One thing they're gonna check for when you go to Sapper School is the completion of it. How they're gonna do that is they're gonna take your rifles and they're gonna throw them to either side of your raft. Now, what's important is, what's gonna get you a go is to make sure that your, wep your weapons do not exceed that center line on the poncho raft on either side. All right, they're gonna check to make sure all your knots are correct. They're gonna check to make sure that your carabiners are locked. They're gonna check to make sure that you have six inches from your gooseneck to your double figure of eight, and then eight inches from your uh, second double figure eight from the top grommet. After this, you're gonna put your hands up and that's gonna complete your time.